Standing Simmer here today and welcome back to the channel for another apartment renovation in The Sims 4. So you guys, I was just kind of inspired this last week or so to renovate a bit of an apartment. Um, I specifically wanted to do one that was one of these needs TLC or these fixer upper apartments that just populate some areas of San Maishuno. Now granted these apartments are ridiculously annoying to live in but I was kind of wanting to stick to the theme of a bit of a budget apartment and when you're thinking budget apartments these apartments work really really well for that again because they just have all of the plumbing and they have the roach issues and the rat issues and that, like I said they're very annoying to live in but they're actually also kind of fun when you're thinking about uh, putting a sim in here that is kind of trying to stick to a bit of a budget. So the theme that is the overreaching theme for this apartment is uh, that I imagine a florist to live here. Now obviously floristry is one of the cool new skills that came with The Sims 4 Seasons and I have seen a lot of really cool uh, builds and community lots which obviously could also be builds but I've seen a lot of cool things that are centered around that skill that have recently been released since Seasons has been released but I was kind of inspired to specifically build an apartment for a florist sim who has those kinds of interests. So in addition to this being for a florist, I was also thinking that, again, kind of sticking with that whole, you know, junky apartment theme, that this would be uh, a bit of a budget apartment. So I, this is not a starter apartment. In fact, it actually costs, like the, all the furnishings together end up costing something like 35,000 simoleons. That's not even really the cost of the lot or the, the down payment or anything like that. I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. But what the gallery said when I went to upload it was that it was about 35,000 simoleons for the, all the furnishings of this apartment. So not as budget as a starter apartment could be. I probably could have done a lot better with that, but there were just quite a few cute clutter items and things like that that I really wanted to make sure to put in here. And uh, starter and nice cute clutter options don't really go well together. So I don't know, that's kind of just what we're going for today. I had a really good time furnishing this apartment. Uh, just for the sake of your information, it is to be placed at 19 Culpepper house I think so it is the fixer upper apartment in that that Culpepper house unit more or less and uh, it comes with two bedrooms and one bathroom so I didn't do a ton of messing around with the, the original floor plan there I mean there's a bit of difference between this and the original floor plan to this apartment, but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit my own. So that's kind of what we're doing today. Really nice, cute, open living area, a lot of pretty decent furniture. And guys, one thing I was really hoping to emphasize when I was renovating this apartment is that as far to the best of my ability, you can still have access to a lot of those places in the apartment where you will get those annoying, like I said, like the rats and the roaches and the stink that comes out of the floor in random places. Guys, if you have never played in this apartment, you probably have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about. But guys, if you've played in a fixer upper apartment, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I try to leave enough access so that whether you decide to, as you know, as your sim, handle it yourself by fixing the issue or if you decide to call the landlord, you should have access to a lot of those kind of horrible places where these issues tend to crop up in this apartment. So that was again kind of my goal. I love seeing people, uh, people's creativity when it comes to these types of apartments, but a lot of times people cover up those areas and the apartments look really, really cute, but then you go to play in it and it's difficult to get around in it. And it's difficult for your sim to actually handle those issues without moving furniture around. And so when I build in these apartments, just for the sake of my sanity and your sanity, should you happen to play in this apartment, um, I, I try to leave those areas uncovered. So just th there's my long little ramble on that whole bit. But as far as uh, uploading goes, I did ask you guys in my last apartment renovation that went up a couple weeks ago by now, whether you l would like me to continue uploading my apartments to the gallery. And the, I, I just about all of you guys were like, yeah, you know, no reason why not um, that you actually do like to play in apartments and that you you do actually go looking for them on the gallery and so I've decided that like until something changes I will just kind of always upload my apartments I was mainly asking that in the last video because I know some people just choose not to obviously the gallery system uh, for apartments is really wonky and it, it's not the most efficient system so I didn't even know really if you guys you know even cared that I uploaded the apartment or anything like that so long story short again from now on I will just go ahead and uh, just not even worry about it and we'll just upload it to the gallery and that will be that so this is available on the gallery I will have all the uh, information for your downloading that in the description down below and like I said I, I think I call it I think 
think I called it something like florist dream apartment, but I feel like now I'm probably going to stick something along the lines of the budget aspect in the title because again, I was kind of going for that when I was building this anyway. So why not, you know, like mesh the two themes together. So I did want to just kind of mention something in this video guys, because this is probably going up on a Tuesday. If this is anything like the schedule that I have in my brain at the moment, but just to give you guys an idea, if, if you are listening to this video, if you're watching this video pretty close to the time where it is going up, which like I said, is probably on a Tuesday. So just a heads up for you guys, as far as my upload schedule goes, just to keep you, keep you on top of things for the next couple of weeks, I am probably going to be doing something more like four uploads a week, which I know that probably none of you really mind too much or even care necessarily. I really don't know what your thoughts are on that, but you know, as of right now, I kind of tend to upload more like five times a week for the next couple of weeks. It'll probably be like one less video a week. And that's mainly because at work, I am picking up a couple of extra shifts in the next few weeks for a coworker who's going on vacation. So there's a really good possibility that I won't have very much time period to uh, record, upload, play the Sims at all. I, I hope that's not the case, but I'm just, not, I'm just going to kind of, you know, take it easy on myself as far as uploading goes, because I know that my already pretty limited free time because of work and other things going on in my life, uh, will be even further limited by the fact that I'm picking up a few shifts. So just a heads up for you guys there. Once again, if you're listening to this in the future, then this has no bearing whatsoever on your life. And it probably means nothing that there's no context for it. However, if you are listening to this again, kind of close to the time where it's originally being uploaded. Uh, and you are curious as to whether, you know, why there are fewer videos on the channel in the next couple of weeks. And that is definitely the reason. So uh, once again, I just kind of like to keep you guys updated on my schedule. I don't know. It's uh, once again, I doubt anyone's really following it that closely, but you know, just in case you are, then there's some information for you. So I am pretty happy, like I said earlier, with the way that this apartment turned out. Um, I'm super excited that I was still able to fit in two bedrooms. The original apartment does have two bedrooms as well. I like apartments with just a single bedroom because it's pretty common for me to move like my single sims or a couple out into an apartment and then have them start their lives there together. I feel like that's pretty realistic. Apartments tend to be cheaper both in the sims and in real life compared to trying to rent or purchase a house. But at the same time, I also sometimes have like roommates or, you know, sibling Sims move into apartments together. And in that case, it's really, really handy to have more than one bedroom. So this apartment does have the two bedrooms. One I decorate, at least the one that I'm kind of working around on in this area is more of a kind of a green and black and white theme. And of course, we've got that nice brick feature wall along the side as well. I actually really like the way that this color scheme turned out. I don't know if I've ever paired those colors together. I was originally thinking green and white for sure, but then the, the pop of black that came with the dresser, you know, that lovely dresser from seasons just looked so good. And I was like, Oh, maybe we could like throw one more black thing in there or like a little, a little chair, you know, there you go. So I don't know. I just think it ended up looking really, really nice when it's all said and done. And then the other bedroom has more of a, a more of a, pink color scheme, a little bit more rustic, I guess. Um, the green bedrooms, it's, it's a bit more clean in my mind. It's very, it's just very soft, very clean. The pink bedroom is once again, a bit more rustic. So it took me a long time to end up happy with the way that this bedroom turned out. I don't know. I feel like that the, I was originally choosing the wrong furniture for this one. So the bed I chose initially was just a bit too fancy. So we do end up swapping it out for one of those, a little bit more crummy city living beds as well. So I don't know. I feel like that fit the theme a little bit better. The rug I chose was probably just the wrong, it was just the wrong style, like the wrong shades of pink as well. I don't know. I just didn't really love the way that it looked. So we swap that out too for something later on. And then the room ends up being like almost this perfect rectangular. Like there's no real dimension to the room because I end up putting a closet in the back part and then closing off that wall. So it's just this nice long kind of, but still kind of narrow rectangle. And so I had a little bit of trouble when it came to like putting things along the wall and on the wall itself to kind of give the room a little bit more interest. But all things concerned, you know, all things considered, we are at two double beds in this apartment, which means it could fit up to two, no gosh, not up to two Sims. It could fit two Sims, but it could fit up to four Sims if you have like two couples or something like that. So I really like this apartment a lot, like I said earlier, and I actually am considering playing in this apartment myself. Um, I have an LP that's the big sister LP that uh, my, my goal for the, the big sister in that LP is for her to eventually be a florist. So there's a possibility that they might find use for this apartment sometime in the future. Right now we are still very much in the 
grinding to make the money stage. Like we're not really even looking at, you know, having enough money to support a house or anything like that. But you know, I don't, we might end up in, in that, in that LP. Or I also have a sim in my personal gameplay in my goth family household that I'm kind of grooming to become a florist as well. So it's possible that because of that, I will end up playing this apartment too. So I really don't know yet how that's going to go, but you know, I'm sure I'll find a use for it one way or the other because like I said, I really like the way that it turned out. So guys, we're about to run into the screenshots here. And I just want to say, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Once again, the download link will be in the description below, but my ID for the gallery is standing simmer. And I always upload these under the hashtag standing simmer as well. Should you want to try to find it that way? But once again, guys, I just appreciate so much you watching. I hope you're having the best of days and I will see you very soon. Bye. I'm so happy.